It's white noise. It's white noise every single frequency at once. Whenever it's described, or that's what it's described as, is it being every single frequency all at once. But to me, when I imagine every single frequency playing at the same time, then this would mean that they would all cancel each other out, and that you wouldn't have any sound. Okay, so... Is that even true? How can we test this here? What the heck is white noise? So... That's some white noise. What's interesting, if we look at a frequency analysis, again the claim being that it's all the frequencies at once, if that were true, I would expect that if I were to look in a frequency analyzer, that there would be a flat line all the way across, uh, indicating that all of the frequencies are both are all being played at equal value. But you'll notice here in this frequency analyzer, it's not flat all the way across. There's peaks and they're always changing, they're constantly changing. Um, so it could be a bug in this uh, a frequency analyzer. So we can look in another frequency analyzer and you'll notice we get the same uh, same thing. We can go multiple frequency analyzers. White noise always looks like this. It's always um, different frequencies. Okay, so what do people mean when they're saying that it's that it's all the frequencies at once? Now, I think what people mean, they don't mean that it's all of the frequencies at once. It's the potential to have all of the frequencies playing at once is what white, white noise is. Um, so, a better way to think about this might be to imagine white noise instead of just as this sort of ephemeris idea of oh well it's just you know a bunch of random uh, uh, sound pressure samples or it's just all of the frequencies or whatever it's just sort of imagine it like a choir um, so we'll get rid of that sound and so if we imagine here all of the um, different possible frequencies uh, that we can hear are all these different individual blocks and then I have here this circle and this would be anything inside this circle is uh, what our orchestra is playing right now, what notes are being played and so um, again if we test the sort of the traditional notion of uh, it being all the frequencies at once and we imagine that and we have all the frequencies playing at once, it seems that there would be a lot of clashing and and whatnot because this frequency might cancel with this one, this one phases with this one and sounds weird and so on and so forth. So to me it seems like what you're hearing is actually it's not all of the frequencies at once, it's just all the frequencies that happen to not cancel with each other, which is a bit different and kind of more interesting to me. So, um, so if it's not just an orchestra playing all of these different notes at once, what could that look like? So, what if we're only playing half of the notes all at once? What would that look like? So, if we go and we pull in half of our notes here, let me imagine these are all the notes that we're playing, and then we know with white noise that all the frequencies they eventually do happen but it's just a question of whether or not they're they're all sort of happening at once so these are the ones that are just sort of happening right now and then um, eventually we have to play these these uh, frequencies so we change over and play these ones so a system like this what would that sound like so if we're just switching back and forth between uh, two f sets of frequencies, and it's this, it, it has to be the same set of frequencies every time we do this. So if we like, we're like, we're picking this set of frequencies, we're playing these ones, then the only other frequencies we can switch to are all of these ones over here. And so what you would expect this to sound like would be uh, a very rhythmic sound, so like a ch 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 ch
<laughs> like, <laughs> it, it, but you would it's expect to be a pattern to it um, in this if you're only he hearing half of them at once, which is interesting. Um, Cause it's not what we're hearing, it just sounds like a random mishmash. So what would potentially be going on here is instead of it being half of the frequencies all at once, it's one third. So if we look at that, what would that look like? If we have these, this set of frequencies, which are all playing at once, then we have these ones which are not playing. So now, after these frequencies are done playing, we need new frequencies to play. So we could pick four or one third of the other frequencies we're not playing. We pick to be the next frequencies that we're going to play. And then we transition to playing those that set of frequencies. Now we have all of these other frequencies left over. And now for our next selection of frequencies that we're going to play, we can pick a four random selection of four frequencies from here. And then we transition over to playing those. Then Again, we repeat, we take a random selection out of all the other frequencies, and then we transfer and switch over to those. Now, this a system like this, you would expect to sound random, where you're hearing frequencies all the time, which ones you're hearing you don't really know. Um, so, in conclusion, I would say that white noise isn't all of the frequencies at once. It can, it's the potential to have all of the frequencies at once. And that makes it way more interesting that this random just random noise can have so many cool properties to it and it's fast. One way to analyze this might be to use bandpass filters. Um, so if we have our white noise and then we apply a bandpass filter to it that's very narrow then we can sort of hone in on individual frequencies um, that are coming from the white noise that we generated and then maybe we look at those in an oscilloscope and see, well look, we've filtered out this one frequency and we can see that it's happening all of the time. So, therefore you can't, therefore it is true that uh, it's all of the frequencies at once. But the problem with bandpass filters is that they work um, by generating a sine wave themselves. They generate a sine wave and then you average the signal against uh, the sine wave and you get the filtered signal and so by doing that you're adding that uh, frequency that we're trying to find you're adding it to the signal in order to filter it and so if it wasn't there you're adding it in and so well this looks like it may be showing that um, this frequency here that I have selected 580.9 Hertz is constantly and always available within the white noise. It's not, this is being synthesized by math to some extent. Um.